Hey, it's James Taylor here. I saw two statistics recently which completely blew my mind. I think they'll blow your mind as creatives. And the first was from Google, who showed that in the past 20 years, uh, we've seen three billion people come online. Uh, so they get access to the internet. But in the next four to five years, we're gonna see another three billion people come online for the first time, from Sub-Saharan Africa, from Asia, from all over the globe. And this presents a huge opportunity for us as creatives. Because these people are going to be coming online for the first time and they'll be wanting to consume content, creative content. They'll be wanting to learn things, they'll want to buy things. They'll also be uh, wanting to collaborate and upload and put up things themselves as creatives. You see, in the 50s and 60s, it was the age of efficiency. You saw those old adverts, you know, those American style adverts of the housewife in the in the kitchen with some appliance that was going to be a save her, save her time. Uh, you know, way back then as well, you'd have r entire rooms feel, filled with an IBM computer that today the same power fits on your your mobile phone. So that was the age of efficiency. And then we moved into the age of quality in the 70s and 80s. It was about total quality management and Kaizen, Japanese uh, work processes. And then we moved again in the 90s and early 2000s into what we call the age of flexibility. So flexible teams, cross-functional working, um, dotted line management, uh, corporate outsourcing. These were all the, this was the kind of era of an age of flexibility. But today, we're very firmly in the age of creativity and innovation. Now, I saw and some other statistics recently which I found incredible, which was came from uh, the World Economic Forum in Davos, and they looked at what the top 10 job skills are today and what the top 10 job skills are going to be in the future, in the next five years. And what they found was in today, creativity is number 10. In, in, one, in, top, in top 10 of the creativity, uh, the skills for, that we need for the job market. But in five years time, creativity is gonna go from number 10 to number three, as in, so it's gonna be the third most important skill you could have in the workplace, more important than negotiation, more important than many, many other skills that we, we think are probably higher than that they actually are. So in thinking about that, this also presents an opportunity for us as creatives because we're kind of in the lead here. We have already been thinking about, how, we already think in a creative way, hopefully. So what can you do to fully make, make the most of this coming three billion people that are coming online and also recognizing that in the jobs market, creativity is gonna become a more important thing. And I would suggest you do a couple of things. The first is take an online course, one of these free online courses from what we call MOOC providers, massive open online courses. Uh, they're absolutely free and, and take them in an area that maybe doesn't directly relate to your job, to your work, so you can get fresh ins inspiration. So that's the, the first thing I would suggest. You go to FutureLearn or Coursera or edX, there's great providers out there. The other thing I would suggest you do is try and find a, a creativity coach or events like uh, creativity retreats. Uh, it could be in an art form that you're doing or maybe something that you, that you want to learn, cooking or whatever the, the area is, just so you can start to get inspired and bring, bring in kind of fresh inspiration for, your, for yourself. Getting a creativity coach is a really valuable thing to have or forming a mastermind of other creatives around you that we can support each other as well. So online courses, uh, retreats, creativity coaches or mastermind groups. Incredibly important if you're gonna take advantage of this coming three billion people that are coming online that will want to both create, but also to consume the things that you're gonna be creating. Thanks for watching. Hi, it's James here. Did you enjoy that episode? If so, there's two things that we can do to continue the journey together. Firstly, I would love if you were to subscribe, give us five stars and leave a comment. Secondly, if you go to jamestaylor.me and enter your name and email address, I'm going to send you some free goodies all around creativity and innovation. Look forward to continuing the journey together.